Okay, my honors. I don't know what's going on. This is the fifth time I've tried this. So that's why I'm a little late this morning. But we'll make it through somehow. Uh, the homework I'm going to give you, I want you to have it done by Wednesday morning. I'll have the answers for you. But don't send it to me. No homework sent to me this week. I'm not checking any homework this week. Uh, ooh, it does look better, though. I've been cleaning it. I've been doing different things. But anyways, there's three things you should know. One, well, you should have this memorized. The chart, the 30, 45, 60. And you say, well, Mr. Murphy, I'm sitting at home. I'll just sit here and cheat. Well, you could. But um, notice uh, you're going to need it next year. You're going to need it especially junior year in pre-calc, or that'd be sophomore for my eighth graders. And then you'll need it again in calculus. And you need to know the X, Y, R's. And really, it, it makes life so much easier if you have it memorized. That way you have it for junior year two in pre-calc and in calc. First, co-terminal. That's where you have the same angle, uh, same terminal side, but different angle measure. Different angle measure, but same terminal side. Now, this is all review today, by the way. So, 120. I'll make a little drawing there. It's about there. So... Give me an angle that's negative. Well, negative means go this way. So how many degrees would be that way? Well, that would be negative 240 because the full thing is a circle 360. Now, you could go negative 240 and then a negative 360 if you want to. And 120, you go 120, then 360 more. So that would be 480. Those are just coterminal. Notice there's an infinite number. 390. So 390, we here's 316 and 30 more. So a coterminal, same terminal side would be 30 degrees for the positive. Or you could do a 390, we we and 360 more. So uh and then negative, we you're 30 short of 360, so it'd be negative 330. And then negative 210. Here's negative 180. A little bit more is 210, so that's negative 210. So this would be 150 going the other way. And another negative angle, but we negative 360, we negative 210. So that'd be a negative 460. Wait a minute. Negative uh, 210. Negative 360 would be negative 570. Well, I thought something was wrong there. Whoa. I'm falling asleep. Now, quadrantal angles. Those are when the terminal side is on the axis. So, sine of 180. Now, I like to make a drawing. Here's 180. So, you pick a point. If you pick the point one unit away from the origin, then R has to be 1. Now, sine is y over r, so it would be 0 over 1, which is 0. Cosine of 270. We pick a point, 1 unit. Uh, that would be 0, negative 1, and I can do 1 unit because we're on an axis. You're going straight down. And uh, cosine is x over r, so r would be 1 because you're 1 unit. Uh, x, oh, so it would be 0. We Tangent of 90. 90 is right here. So 0, 1. R is 1. Tangent's y over x. So 1 over 0. Oh, that's undefined. That is true all the time. And then cosine of negative 180. We Oh, wrong way. Wrong, wrong, wrong way. Negative 180 would be here. Sorry, wrong way. Woohoo. So that would be a negative 1 over 0. Oh, excuse me, negative 1, 0. R is 1. Cosine is x over r. So it would be negative 1 over 1. So it would be negative 1. We. Now, last thing we did is reference angles. Now, reference angles, you have to do two things. You have to find the sign, S-I-G-N. And you have to find... Uh, the reference angle to this problem. 
So, by the way, we did this on Friday. So, uh, 120 would be here. For those that didn't watch it, you're probably saying, what the heck is this? That is a horrible angle, Tron. Uh, but, uh, okay, so we're in the second quadrant. Uh, y is positive. X is negative. Sine is Y over R. R is always positive. It's a distance. So a sine is positive. Now you don't draw that. I just did that for your notes. And then uh, we're going to have to move this. Positive sine. And then the reference angle is made with the terminal side and the closest x-axis. So it would be 60 degrees. And we know that the sine is 60. is square root of 3 over 2. Because we have it memorized. You were supposed to do that last week. Oh. So cosine. So cosine, let's see, we're in the second quadrant again, it looks like. Doink. So cosine, this is x is negative, y is positive. Cosine is x over r, negative over positive is negative. And the reference angle is 30 degrees. And we all know that the cosine of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So the answer would be negative square root of 3 over 2. Woohoo! Tangent of 315. 315, wee! Wow, we got a pack man. Well, a sick pack man. We're in the fourth quadrant. Uh, X is positive, Y is negative, tangents Y over X, you got to get that memorized. So positive and negative is negative, and the reference angle is 45 degrees. Terminal, closest X, so it would be negative 1, because you haven't memorized. Go ahead and see if you can figure that one out and then turn me back on. Okay, 210, let's see. Doop, doop. Here. Rah. So 210, let's see. Uh, sine, we're in the third quadrant. Sine is Y over R. You have that memorized. Memorize. Memorize. So, uh, let's see. So sine would be negative because y is negative, r is always positive. So it would be negative sine. And the reference angle is made uh, terminal side, closest uh, x-axis is 30 degrees. And we know that sine of 30 is a half. So it would be negative a half. So they found all these patterns over the years. So... Here's what I want you to have done by Wednesday. I want you to find coterminal. I want you to find, oh, I guess they'll all fit. Uh, quadrantal and reference. Now tomorrow we're going to review and then start graphing, but the homework, I'll give you the answers on Wednesday. So that's when I want you to have it done, Wednesday. Um, but don't turn it in to me. Don't need to turn it in. Just see me figure out. Now, if you're still having trouble tonight on this, of course, we're going to practice some of this tomorrow, too. But here you go. So, coterminal, then the uh, quadra uh, quadrantal, and then reference angles. Kind of wrote it close together. I thought I'd get all of it on one page, but that's okay. So, do you have it all? Good. This is due Wednesday morning, if you want to stay on top of things. Don't turn it to me. Don't send it to me, though. Hey, have a good day.